So hi everyone, today I wanted to try out GNOME 40 and of course what made me want to try this is this beauty. And I really have to say that the design is stunning, I love it. But another feature that I was really impressed by, just even by installing the system, are these gestures. Because it's really easy, like in KDE Plasma on Wayland, to implement like a gesture that it's recognized and when it's recognized you just do the whole animation. But actually implementing a gesture that you can do a bit and then go back, stuff like that, it's really impressive. It is flawless, almost there are a couple of bugs but I expect them to be fixed soon in GNOME 40. I've seen that they are coming in elementary OS too and it really does seem like Plasma will be the only major desktop lacking in them, which is a bit of a pity, but it's mostly because it, they are very difficult to implement. Anyway, let's get back to GNOME. I also wanted to give a look to some of their applications uh, as an example files. And again, I think that the design is really on spot. I really like the application. We have the header bar, which is draggable from anywhere, so I don't think it creates usability issues. You have the sidebar and the content without any, you know, information you don't actually need. And then you have the most important buttons here, like new windows and stuff. I really like the design. I think it's very clean and very practical. Of course, I do like Dolphin that puts like the new tab button right in front of me so I can do this, but it's a bit of a pers personal preference and I still like both of them. And then there's also the application grid, which you actually can um, scroll with two fingers and I think that I'm not 100% sold on the design of the grid. It's a bit weird to see your desktops appear and then just a grey wallpaper but it's a bit of a teeny complaint that I have mostly the design a bit of bugs but yeah Mostly the design is ab absolutely beautiful. And by the way, I think this is the Fedora wallpaper and I love it. I love this wallpaper, it's super good. Anyway, let me also see the, the calendar application as an example. Starts up Maximite. And I really want to add as an example a new task. So let's name event as an example. And I really like that these uh, sections are used very consistently throughout GNOME application. Just to do an example, if I also take like the settings up, I've seen before, because I had to change the layout, that you also have them here. And pretty much in all of the settings pages and they are very consistent. You also have them in many applications like the clock. If you go, if I go to the stopwatch and then the collapse, I can see this design, which is the same as this is design, and it's really good. Like they are doing stuff very consistently. We also have these cards, which are super pretty that we can also see when we search for stuff. And I really like the idea of searching applications and then inside this application, a bit like Runner, but it's more clear that you have the settings here, you have the characters here and the clock stuff. So whereas in Runner it's a bit more confused, so maybe it would help us to actually create these cards to put stuff in. And then what else? We have, uh, if I get back to the settings one second, one other thing I noticed is I am a bit sad by the lack of the feature for changing the color scheme. I did not found any, colors are not uh, dark theme or stuff like that. I, I know that there are like GNOME Twix application for that sort of stuff, but 
For basic stuff, just like turning into a dark theme, I kind of expect it to be in settings, but I do understand the philosophy that's behind GNOME. And I really have to say that it pays off when you actually try to use the settings because they are very clean and simple to use. Whereas I'll admit that the system settings for KDE are often a bit difficult to use, even though they were redesigned many times to be as easy as possible. But of course, if you have, if you have so many options, you we also have a very big system settings. And in GNOME, it's like really simple, and it's really just about settings. And I don't ex expect the average user to open this much, probably sticking to the system tray, and that's pretty much it. Which makes sense, it's a bit different for um, from KDE, but I respect that. Then for another random application, we have, I don't know, maps. And this is Italy, I'm from Italy. It, it bothers me that the scroll wheel is inverted but uh, I can get used to that. And then, ah, another thing that I've, I've tried is the gestures, and I've seen that I can actually trigger the same animations using uh, three fingers on a touch screen device. If you have a touch screen, you can use three fingers to switch between uh, virtual desktops and then to see the overview, which is very nice. You can also open the grid of apps and even create folders and stuff only using the touch screen, which is super cool. Then what else? There are, there's also a rhythm box. And I'm a bit sad to see the consistency of GNOME fall a bit here. You don't have any longer the buttons in the title bar, and these buttons do not feel quite like the others' applications. So I know there is another music player by GNOME, but this is the one that I've tried. What else am I missing here? I, uh, there is the software application, but for some ah, now it's working, okay? It wasn't working before. And you have stuff, and I actually want to try out to see if there is Dolphin in here, just to see if, um, how does it look? Like, a lot of effort in Plasma is also to make GTK application look native, and I'm wondering if there's the same effort in GNOME to make cute application look nice on the desktop. And you know, anyway, there's also uh, a Tor application. Let me open this and then switch to a new desktop. This is very efficient. I like it. And uh, we can see that it, it explains to us uh, the overview, which is this one, the pretty one. Yeah, there are definitely some bugs about the gestures, but I think it's very mi minor stuff that will be fixed soon. It tells me that I can actually create my own folders and stuff, which is pretty useful. I've just tried it. And then uh, it uh, explains me what workspaces are. I will just call them virtual desktops because that's what I'm used to. And then the gestures, yeah, three fingers, both in the touchpad and in the touch screen. So that's very good. And then left and right for workspaces. Yeah, makes sense. It's, whoops. Yeah. Okay, it's ready. Let's get back to the um, dolphin. Let's launch it and see how, how does it look. And it looks, ooh. well, let's say it could be better because if you take the, sorry, how many apps did I open up? Oh, if you take like GNOME settings and then this one, you have these icons which are absolutely out of place. And then this home button is 
in the wrong spot and there is even a missing icon here the tabs are ooh, screwed up okay maybe is this bar oxygen that's very bad okay overall it's not a good ex experience I'll say I would not use dolphin gnome and that's a bit sad to see because as far as the Linux desktop thing goes I think that we should make sure to uh, that application are like possible to use even if they're not made by the same like desktop environment or stuff like that because at the end we're just like Linux and we should be together in trying to fight against the proprietary stuff you know that sort of stuff so I'd like to see a bit more of that from that side so what else I was looking into the utilities I see many interesting stuff let's go with the screenshot oh I like it uh, I actually think that I've used this screenshot application in plasma as well one time when um, uh, our screenshot application broke it's very simple but very clear as well it even makes a sound as if you've taken a photograph I like it then what else what do you have in the it could remember that I'm looking at this application and not open the first page every time maybe that could be an improvement and I could uh, problem reporting that's interesting uh, my system okay what if I try to create a new one can I I don't think I can maybe it's uh, wow. how does this work well it's not something that's very clear ah, never mind let's go on with it what else do we have here a text editor this is gedit right and something I really liked of it is that compared to like Kate we actually have like just our support if you have a touch screen which is amazing I, I do have a touch screen and being able to just select text so flawlessly is amazing and I can also long press to get the actions so strong plus one from that side and I really also like the sidebar how do I show the sidebar here I like it I try to edit many documents like at the same time oops yes and this is very efficient um, Kate has a very similar concept a bit more plugins but I think that this is already very much what you need and what else do we have in that Oop, now I don't think I'm going to save that and we have the videos which I did not manage to use much I think I've, gen I've just done a test to see if it was working and the design looks pretty good it's consistent with the rest of you know um, GNOME so and I mean it's a video application so channels what's that oh this is very interesting can I watch Rai from here? Um, let's go with politics. Oh, this is very interesting. Can I actually see this? No, I can't. Let's try to install them. This would be super cool, like being able to watch, I don't know, Sanremo or stuff like that from the video player. It would be a big plus one for me. Yeah, this is my prime minister, so it works. This is very impressive. Like, I love this. I might use this application just to... And it's impressive that it just starts working as soon as I downloaded the plugin. So, wow. What else do we have? Vodafone, The Guardian. Let's, uh, cinema Comedians. What comedians do we have? 
the channel it is set to. Interesting. So yeah, a bit of Italian television for you all. But let's get back to some other application. I really want to see a bunch of them to make, to get an idea of how does this work. So let's try with the PDF reader, which of course requires a PDF, which I don't have. So let's open up Firefox and try to download a new one. And uh, the Firefox look, by the way, is really nice, consistent. So I like that. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, test PDF. I'm pretty sure I will label. Yes. Let's save it somewhere. Downloads. That's fine. Done. And let's open it up. Perfect. So I can see the PDF. There's an edit button. Uh, which allows me not much it seems I can oh that's that's not very pretty <laughs> this could be a bit better but to be fair the ocular floating note widget is just as bad so yeah and then I can also highlight text but I cannot draw which is a bit of a pity, like if you have a touch screen, being able to draw on a PDF is a killer feature, but you can just in install uh, Xornal++ to do that. Present as a slideshow. Yeah, this is interesting. I guess it's useful. What else do you have? Duong? Pages? Yeah, makes sense. It's also very nice to see like you have only one settings page and you can just click on the option you want and it's done. Whereas Ocular has a bit more options, but you have to find the right one. I remember that I struggled a bit to find this dual option on Ocular, which is the KD um, settings. And then we have the image viewer. And I need to find an image though. Do I have an image anywhere? Nothing. Okay, let's get back to, whoops. Let's get back to Firefox and download an image. Let's go with test image to be consistent. Yeah, I love these test images. No, not this one. This one was great. Let me pick that one. And yes, this one. Um, I still, I'm still not used to like doing right click using two fingers, but yeah. Uh, downloads, yes. Uh, no, I can get back here and then open images, download the image. Nice. And uh, touch screen works really well. I'm very impressed. I love it. Can I actually rotate? Yes, I can even rotate the images using two fingers. That's very good. And even the touchpad gestures are really great. Can I also rotate? Yes, I can rotate the image using touchpad. Like this is very impressive. Good job on that. This is totally something you cannot do in Gwen View. Set as all no, no, I didn't actually want to do it. It was just to see, no. All right, yes, uh, two fingers, two fingers. Change background, get me back to a uh, normal background, thanks. Add picture, yeah, that makes sense. And then I think we're almost done. Uh, there is, I think we're done. Uh, the system monitor, let's give it a look. Uh, it's a bit like the old uh, KECs, the new one system monitor of Plasma, it's like super pretty. But yeah, it's not very important to have a super pretty system monitor, so doesn't matter. And uh, I didn't finish off the tour and let's close Firefox. And um, I really have to say that I'm super impressed by the quality of like the animations and the design. It's really on spot. I love it. 
and wow you even have like this no distraction freeform floating very nice i love it the gestures are great and in general i think gnome 40 is a great product if i ask myself would i personally use this one i would like it's very good um i think that yes there are a couple of bugs in like the gestures and stuff but this is not this is like i think a preview image so it makes sense so it's a big big thumbs up for me regarding gnome 40. great job well done